What's going on guys? So here is the finals to my draft champion season. I am 6-1 going into this game. I was 6-0 and, oh and I ended up losing my last game. Uh, the guy was pretty good and I played absolutely terrible. So I was really nervous for this game because I do not want to not win. I do not want to not win. I don't know how to say that. But I just really want to make sure that I win my first ever championship. That would be huge. And I'll, I'll be pretty hyped if I do. So here right off the bat I got Donovan McNabb in this season. And McNabb was, has been playing pretty well and I drafted a pretty solid defense behind him too like he had a really nice defense my receivers were probably my weakest point uh, but they are still Eddie Royal and then we're all making plays here third down and two I do not convert so I go for it on fourth down and three and I hit Eddie Royal on a little drag route I was just killing the drag routes especially because I had Brandon Cooks on my team as well and here I roll out with Donovan McNabb I see Benny Cunningham going up this side and I throw a pass lead outside and he catches it which was super clutch. You gotta score on your first drive. If you decide, I always decide to pick the ball first because I like to go out there and I like to score and take the momentum right off the bat, put the pressure on him to get on offense and make sure he scores. So here, third and one again, I give it to Benny Cunningham who breaks tackles. Whenever I see Benny Cunningham as my running back or like Christian Michael, I don't draft running backs. And then he gets in there for the touchdown to make it seven nothing right off the bat. I am super hyped about this. And then he tries to run a screenplay on me on the first play of the game. And Brian Arakpo, flashback Arakpo, gets so clutch with an interception. I dive into the end zone. And we are up 14-0 very, very early. I'm hyped. He almost takes this kick return for six. That's why I showed that because he was very, very close to taking that for a touchdown. And then he's rolling out with Big Ben looking. Throws it to the sidelines and he converts on first and ten. I don't know why I said converts on first and ten. I kind of messed up my language there. And then I get a huge sack. My D-line was just playing so well this game. Everything was kind of just coming together. And it felt really, really nice when it finally happened. And then here, Trey Waynes gets a huge interception. I was so pumped when I got that. And then this guy decided he was out and he is going to quit. So we get some packs from this, as you know. Uh, you get a legend. How it works is uh, you get a legends pack. And these in legend packs, you don't always get something good, but there's always like a decent chance you get something that's all right. Uh, so I knew that going into this. So in my first legend pack here, this is not a live commentary, so I'm not gonna be able to give you my live reaction to what I was pulling, but I'll be able to show you guys what I do end up to getting. So there you see, I got three stars and I'm moving up. I didn't really understand how that worked with like the bronze thing. Now I kind of get it. It's like a circle and you got to fill the circle. It's starting to make a lot more sense to me as I keep playing games. Uh, so here uh, we get to open our legendary pack, which you know I'm hyped for. It's got Bo Jackson on the front. I don't even know if Bo Jackson's in the game yet, but he is on the front of the thing. So here we go. We first pack, we got a gold Alfred Morris, a 76 overall, 75 overall Chris Tuch, and then I get a nice collectible. I don't know if he goes for anything, but I was a little, let me know in the comments if you guys, if he goes for anything, because I honestly have no idea. And then the quick sell pack, it's just regular. I think I get about 7,500 coins out of this. So make sure you guys start doing these draft champions things. Like it is worth it. You can get a lot of good stuff out of this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys all next time.